diabetes patients are not at higher risk in contracting coronavirus, but if they do get COVID-19, they might have a slightly worse outcome than someone who doesn't have uh, diabetes. Therefore, hygiene precautions are utterly important. Diabetes patients um, might have a higher complication rate than a non-diabetes patient in COVID-19 because um, the viruses thrive in an environment with high sugars um, and therefore they might make things a bit complicated. And diabetes patients might also have other illnesses that may complicate uh, matters. Diabetes patients should be very, very careful about their hygiene precautions, social distancing, um, even at home with family members and if family members experience um, symptoms of flu, they should try to distance themselves, not share cutleries, not share food. Patients with diabetes should be um, more vigilant in looking after their blood glucose, especially in this MCO period. If they have a blood glucose meter, they should try to measure it more often. And if there was any um, problems, please do not hesitate to contact your usual diabetes care provider. During the MCO period, um, we are perhaps less active because we are unable to go out of the house. Um, so our normal activities um, are slightly different. So there might be a chance that your blood sugar might either be higher than normal or lower than normal. Um, in particular, if your blood sugar is lower than normal, less than four, um, you may need to phone your diabetes care provider to change your medicine a little bit. Warning signs of a low blood sugar or hypoglycemia include uh, feeling trembling, shaking, tiredness, tingling of the lips, feeling more hungry than usual, sweating, um, and in more severe cases, confusion or personality change noticed by family members. This is symptoms of blood sugar less than four. Treatment of hypoglycemia or low blood sugar would need to be immediately having a sugary drink or snack followed by a longer acting carbohydrate such as bread or a small portion of a meal which includes rice or noodles. Um, if hypoglycemia occurs frequently, you need to contact your diabetes care provider as medicines may need to be changed.